MPLSTE, RSVP message and link manager. In this video, I am going to talk about again RSVP and also its message, another message that RSVP can use them for its function. And also I will talk about the link manager. Again, in this video, we will talk about the concept, not the configuration. And it's so useful for better understanding to function the function of the MPLS traffic engineering and also the component of the traffic engineering. And finally, we can better configure when we have the higher knowledge. Okay, let me to start to talk about the uh, RSVP. Here we have a scenario, as you can see, R1, R2, R3, and R4. I configured the link between the rotor one to rotor two, rotor two to rotor three, and finally rotor three to rotor four with this range of IP addressing. Also, I configured one loopback IP address on the R1, R2, R3, and R4. And finally, I configured one a traffic engineering tunnel with this configuration interface tunnel zero, IP unnumbered loopback zero, tunnel destination is quad four, Tunnel mode is MPLS traffic ENG, tunnel MPLS traffic engineering band with requirement 512 kilobits of per second. After that, tunnel MPLS traffic engineering pass option one dynamic. And finally, tunnel MPLS traffic engineering auto route announced. Let me to show you. This is our scenario. In our scenario, if you check the show MPLS traffic engineering tunnels, you will have this tunnel R1 tunnel 0 to the destination of quad 4 and the tunnel operationally is up and this is the path of the tunnel 192.168.12.2 the rotor 2 192.168.23.3 uh, rotor 3 and then 192.168.34.4 and finally the tunnel reaches to the quad 4 also here uh, we can check the routing table show IP route look at here this is the show ip route as you can see we have the tunnel zero on the routing table and as you can see the quad 4 slash 32 is reachable uh, with the tunnel zero okay because we configured the auto route annals okay this is the uh, configuration of one tunnel between the rotor one to rotor four and we configured it and you learned about this type of configuration in the previous scenario and also previous videos okay now i'm going to first show you the capture of the link because i captured before these links i am going to show you look at here here i captured this link the link between the uh, for example rotor one and two i call it capture one with the wire shark and after that i captured this link capture two okay let me to say this capture capture one two because this is between rotor one two and the capture two three for example okay the rotor two and three links and finally we have another capture the capture three four okay i captured them before i will show you the result of capture you know that first we have rsvp okay pass message in these links as you learn about the RSVP pass in the previous scenario and also on this link RSVP pass RSVP pass and after that we will receive RSVP reserve message uh, in the opposite direction okay this is the RSVP RSVP reserve message and then here and finally the RSVP reserve message reaches to the R1 okay let me to show you these captures capture 1 2 capture 2 3 and capture 3 4 this is the capture result look at here I captured the RSVP pass message okay and here you can see the capture 1 2 between rotor 1 and rotor 2 here you can see the capture 2 3 and here you can see the capture 3 uh, 4 but I show you now only the RSVP pass message. Okay, look at this is the RSVP pass message. We will see the RSVP reserve message. Why I ca captured this, uh, for example, links? Because I'm going to talk about the all of details of this capture. I know that you learn about some part of the information in these uh, captures about the RSVP pass and RSVP reserve message. But now I'm going to give you more information about the RSVP message because of that I, I captured them to uh, finally we can easily understand and compare the captures. Look at here uh, in the exact in the 
uh, almost one time I captured uh, the links R1, R2, R2, and R3, R3, and R4. We can compare the results. Look at here. This is the RSVP pass message. The first thing is that RSVP is a protocol that we are we are using the resource reservation protocol uh, directly on the ip this means that rsvp doesn't use tcp or udp and the protocol number of the rsvp is 46 you learned you saw this in the previous scenario after that this is the layer one layer two layer three and then the protocol okay here we can see rsvp or resource reservation protocol pass message message this is the type of message and as you can see here we have some information this information is the summary of the here uh, the, for example content here we have some content and here you can see the summary of them for example uh, starting from the first uh, for example, part RSVP header. This is the pass message. Okay, we will see the other message in this video. And as you can see, the session now is requested for the IPv4 LSP or label switch pass. You know that we can establish IPv6 LSP, for example, or some other link states, uh, for example, pass. Okay, uh, or a link label switch pass, not link state pass, label switch pass. This is the IPv4 label switch pass and after that destination is quad 4 it's okay we configure tunnel destination quad 4 look at here the rsvp pass message as you know should send from the quad 1 to quad 4 from the loop back of rotor 1 to the loop back of rotor 4 after that destination is quad 4 okay and after that here we have the tunnel id 0 you know that in all of the rotors we can see the tunnel id for example here in the capture of r2 r3 we have tunnel id 0 and also in the capture r3 and r4 we have tunnel id 0 let me to show you this is the configuration of r1 in the show mpls traffic engineering tunnels in the rotor 1 rotor 1 is a head end rotor we can see the r1 tunnel 0 and also in the rotor 2 do uh, for example or show mpls uh, traffic engineering tunnels we can see again that r1 tunnel 0 is signaled okay this is the signaling and as you can see this tunnel 0 is signaled because here uh, the in the link between rotor 2 and rotor 3 and also between rotor 1 and rotor 2 and also between rotor 3 and rotor 4 we have the tunnel id 0 because of that the other rotors can understand that this is the, the this is the tunnel zero of the rotor one okay look at here r1 tunnel zero very good after that this is the hop uh, part ipv4 192.168.12.1 this is the ip address of the rotor one you know that the ip address of rotor one is 192.168.12.1 and here is the ip address of the rotor two in this uh, for example link 192.168.23.2 uh, and this is the 192.168.23.3 okay and after that we have time uh, values the time value is for refresh i'm not going to talk about the detail of this feature in this video after that we have the ero object explicit route 192.168.12.2 and 192.168.23.4 and uh, we have also quad 4 here you know that uh, uh, this is the output of the igp process and here in the for example r1 r2 and r3 and r4 you can see this result this is the result in r2 this is the result in r1 and this is the result in r2 look at here you know that when the r1 advertise or forward the rsvp pass message to the r2 should remove is its a IP address from the ERO. Look at here. Here, the 192.168.12.2 is available, the IP address of the rotor 2. But when the rotor 2 advertises this RSVP to the rotor 3, okay, this is the link between rotor 2, uh, two and 3, it removes the uh, its, its IP address, the 192.168, uh, for example, 12.2, okay. And after that, when the R3 advertises this RSV pass message to rotor 4, it removes its IP address, 192.168.23.3, okay. After that, as you can see here, we have empty label request part, label request for ipv4 and look at here uh, this label request doesn't have any value because uh, we only requesting we are only requesting the label 
After that, you can see the session attribute, such as the setup priority, hold priority. Here we have 